Next, next we have a special award in the gift of the Academy, Best Sports Photographer, and who better to present it than BBC's new voice of, uh, of sport on the day today, Alan Partridge. My uh, lords, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers, thank you. Um, tonight is a special night. It's not about me, Alan Partridge. It's not about Ken. It's not even about Ken's lovely wife, Amanda. <laughs> now, now, I've got my own TV show starting in the autumn. It's called Know Me, Knowing You. It's on Wednesdays, BBC 2, 9 o'clock. That's not important tonight. Because tonight is about the people we don't see. It's about... Makeup artists, cameramen, producers, directors, the little people. <laughs> Without them, there would be no stars. There'd be no Kenneth Branagh, there'd be no Amanda Thompson, <laughs> there'd be no Alan Partridge. Question Could a cameraman host a high profile TV show or star in a blockbuster video? <laughs> answer. answer Answer, no, of course not, it would be embarrassing. But let's, <laughs> let's flip the coin of that argument on its head. Could Alan Partridge operate 250 grand worth of Steadicam? Well, yes, probably, but, <laughs> but I haven't got the time. I don't have that window. So who does it? You do. And in this industry, which is a bit like a bottle of milk, you are the cream. You're gold topped and you've got a lot of bottle of milk. The, the special award for best sports photography of 1994 is Mark Mavers. Mathers. Mathers. Well, Mark made his mark to the BBC at this year's Winter Olympics at Lillehammer. He also pioneered the use of fibre optics in cricket and golf, consistently giving us new perspectives on sports. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's always uh, puzzled me, actually, what people do with these things. Uh, maybe I'll take it home and uh, use it as a fridge magnet. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, uh, when I and my crew... Fridge magnet. <laughs> that's uh, Dave Johnson, Big Dave, Mike Crace, Peggy Hanna, Tish Parnell. When we were all in Lilyhammer... I was there. I said to them... <laughs> I said to them then, and uh, I'll say it again now... Do you remember me? Uh, yes. It's a cliché, but maybe that's why it's true. Um, Sorry, I think I threw you there, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, carry on. I couldn't have got the shots I did without the all-round excellence of my crew. Bravo. Excellence is something my father taught me. Sadly, he's not in such excellent health at Shame. the moment. Shame! He's in hospital tonight. Dad? I know you're watching. Get well soon. This is for you. Here, here. What's he got? <laughs> He's got verbal diarrhoea. <laughs> I must also say this. <laughs> government cuts and rationalisation have affected us all. Basically, this government has declared war on the BBC. They're cutting back and cutting back and cutting back. Let's get one thing clear. Producer choice means no choice. Bollocks. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah. No one cares. No one cares what you think. You're just a technician. <laughs> All of you. Good night. Thank you to Alan Partridge and friend, alias Steve Coogan and Patrick Marber, for your invaluable contribution.